What's going on guys, it's Hadis Dre here and welcome to my first video on YouTube. And it's the start of my FIFA 17 Road to Glory series. Now, as you can see on the screen right now, I just collected my starter pack and I just collect some players around right there. And with this series, I just want to play games, make big teams, and one of my main goals is to win Division 1. And add no FIFA points, no FIFA points in here. Now, as you see on the screen right now, I'm just doing some manager tests, trying to get all get the rewards for all of it. And the previous, you saw that I got the FIWC Stadium. And right here, I was going to pick all the worlds, but I picked Suarez because later in the future, he might be useful for a team I build, maybe a lot of Yuka team, maybe. Yeah. So, with the, I'm going to start doing the bronze pack method. In. I've seen lots of people do it. It seems really good. I've seen players get a lot of good players from it. But with that, you probably saying you can't get good players from bronze packs. Well, you can, but with the SBC upgrade method. With the SBC upgrade method, you can trade in bronze on the SBC for silvers. You get two silver player packs from that. And then you put all those silver two player packs, you put them into the gold ones. And then you get three non-rare gold, and with those gold, you put them into the gold rare ones. If you can do that, you get two rare gold player packs, and that's where all the big coins are. So as you see on the screen right now, I just opened my, my uh, legend loan on accident, and you can see I got Katuso. And I got this little guy who looks, at, who looks pretty good. I might use him for the Irish SP that could possibly coming up later. Could be good now on the screen you can see that i'm doing more manager tests i'm trying to get three green links into one player and i've seen it comes out successful as you can see coming up so with this channel i want to not only just upload these videos i will try to start uploading more than just the girls of boys series i have a main i have my main account but I don't have that much coins on it, but if people want me to see you do, try to do some SBCs on there or open packs on there, I'll try. But to tell you now, I don't have that many coins on it. I could sell my players and use that for YouTube purposes. So I have another account. This is a draftable account, but I do that on my own for now. Unless you guys want to see it, comment down below and tell me. So, also, with the other games I was talking about, I have other games in mind that I would like to upload this channel, I probably will, but if you guys have any other games in mind that you guys want me to play, leave a comment down below and tell me, and I, can, I'll, I check my comments pretty frequently, or I'm going to start checking my comments pretty frequently since this is my first video. Now as you can see on the screen right now, I'm doing some of the required SBC gets, Let's Get Started for the manager tasks as well and I'm trading in some of the bronze players for packs that I can get and as you can see coming up I get a pretty decent player that could be useful in the future now with the team I want to build in the future when I start getting more coins I don't really want to go towards the BPL route because I see a lot of people doing it because all the SPC players the player of the month and all of that I want to go to a different league. I, I leave that gets used often, obviously. The Serie A or the Calcio A. Or Serie A or Calcio A. Um, and the Liga Santander. The Bundesliga. Maybe even League One. But I don't really want to go towards the BPL route. But if you do get someone good in packs, we'll most likely build a team around them. So as you can see on the screen right now, I'm open the packs that I got from completing the SBC Let's Get Started pack. And I got some good bronze players that could be useful in the future. Maybe for the bronze pack that I can open in. I saved some right there. So as you can see right here, I actually packed a good player. The cam from Liverpool Lalana and the right back from what was that team called? I can I didn't can see it properly. So, uh, back to the Mario task, I got a premium loan player pack, and I got the Real Madrid Cam Essential. Now, as you can see right now, I 
changed the team name for the Manta Test, called, it was called League RTG. At the time, I really couldn't think of anything else. Um, it was popped in my head. And right now, I'm checking anything else I need to do for the Manta Test. So I, I can't do anything else, so I went over to my club to sell some players that I can get some coins for and then complete the next Manta Test. So one way I also want to try to get coins is to do a lot of investing. So, i.e., I could do Williams inform. Before he got his inform, I could have bought like a couple of informs or a couple of his regular cards. Because since now, since he has an inform, his regular cards out of packs and his price should go up a little bit. And then I can sell them off then and generate some more coins like that. Now, as you can see right now, I'm dilly-dallying the team, trying to get the most chemistry as possible for the upcoming game footage I'm about to show you. Now, if you're asking why I don't put the Lana in, because I've got the Englishman up there, using as a super sub, versus all the Thai players that... Now, as he's about to get into our first game, you'll see that he has a 4-4-2 team, with a couple of golds and two silver players. But the problem is he doesn't have that much chemistry and I now can see his goalkeepers off of chem with no chemistry linked into him. Now as we get into the gameplay, you see I get the ball, knock it off, I do a quick hold up, hold up, pass it off, and then I pass it off to the guy down there. Sadly he's off sides. The goalie saves it. I score it, but it doesn't count because I was offside. Another thing I want to address is one of my main goals in this series is that for foot champs I want to eventually get top 100 before FIFA 17 ends, or we get FIFA 18 comes out. Now, as you can see, I try to do a low driven crossbody, but I forgot we have bronze players and it goes wide. Now, a halftime hits, and I decide to do some substitution. I bring on Juf, and then I bring on Milana coming up. I should have brought in that 77 center, center mid right there, but I didn't. Now the thing with foot champs, on my main account, I usually get around gold 3 or gold 2 occasionally, and I haven't got gold 1 yet, and the thing is, I have some coins, I do have some coins, and I do have some good players, well as you can see right here, Mommy Deuce on the run, low crossbody, and he scores the first goal of the game. Now back to what I was saying about the foot champs. For just playing 40 games, no matter, or even if you can play 40 games, no matter where you land, for just playing games of FIFA, you get rewards, you get packs, and you get coins for just playing at least 5 games. Now, as you can see, I did a quick 2-1-2, and then Mavi just breaks through the defense, little crossbody again, makes it 2-0, second goal for Duke. Now, as the game's about to come to an end, we still have one more goal in us to get the three points secured for sure. Now, I get the, the ball to Duke, he passes off the cook, and then we get pretty lucky with the bounce. I cut back out, cut back in, and then he does a low crossbody or bottom, bottom right corner to get the three points and the 3 0. Now, as the game about just finished, we win the game 3 0, and we get 500 coins and three points in the bag in Division 10. Now, as we're playing that game, we finished off one more manager test, and now we're doing another one right now. We put up a five fitness on the Millersville striker, the silver. Now, as finishing that manager test, we go into another manager test, which is to buy consumable off the market. Now, I decided to buy a gold fitness card, and I know I could have bought chemistry style, but I decided that at the time that fitness card could be used farther in the future. Now as we get into the next game, we come up against a 4-3-3, four team, Pato, Inaki Williams, Carrasco, Fernandinho, Oscar, and I don't know who that center mid is, and Gabriel, and Bravo. Now as we get into the gameplay, our opponent's on the attack, and since we're 16 minutes in, and I realize this team is much more superior than us, I decided to bring on Duf and Lalana again, because they're one of our best players that I want to use at the moment, right now. Now, at right here, he got past the defender after I tackled him, and right here I thought Pato buried it, but luckily he didn't and he missed.
Now straight off from that miss, we have a goal to kick it up the field, and I thought we won the ball, but our, our opponent got won it, and then Patos threw again. Our goalie saves it, has another save, and I try to clear right there, but then he has another save. Our goalie came up with three consecutive saves. So he threw it up the field, hold the ball up, n nice one-two right there, he threw ball to Youth, and then he holds holds it off right here, holds it off, passes it off, and finesse into the near post. And it makes it 1-0, and the score was Hooper. Now our opponent is on the attack right now. I win the ball. I pass it. I pass it off out wide. Knock it in. Nice quick one-two. Passes back to Dio. Passes off to Hooper, and another goal for him. Makes it 2-0. Two goals for him, and the 31st minute. And from this point on, I can tell that this player wasn't as good. And he was kind of look, look like he was losing some of his composure. And right here, he's trying to do the little kickoff boost or kickoff glitch, whatever you want to refer it to. And we do a nice way to play, nice pass, pass off, pass off to Duke, knock off back up, out to Cook, pass it back into Duke, pass it to Lalana, quick one two. Lalana buries the ball in left corner, low cross body, to make it 3 0. Now Bravo collects the ball, he throws it out, and it was a bad pass by him. Quick one two with him and Duke. And then low cross body again. To make it 4-0 in the 37th minute. And back into it. I lose the ball inside the middle. It was a costly mistake. Oscar collects the ball. Joe's a dribble across the box. Joe's across the box. Lays off to Naki Williams. He kind of shoots across our goalie. And he saves it. Surprisingly, our goalie is actually pretty good for a bronze player. Pato gets the ball, goes, goes across the box, I tackle the ball, Cross gets the ball, and then our goalie saves it again, and then again for a second consecutive save in a row. So I have the ball, hold it off a little bit, hold it off a little bit, pass it out wide, they try to do a long through ball, pass it back into Duke, he breaks through, breaks through, and a, a nasty fake shot right there, and finesse it far corner to make it 5-0. Mommy Deuce is a beast. Now our opponent has the ball. Fernandinho runs in, Carrasco plays it short, that was bad defended by me, I should have got it, I should have cleared it right there as well, it was just off of defended by me, Fernandinho hits it far, far right corner, ball on right, they make it 5-1, now as the gameplay progresses, I had the ball on Miami Duke, got a lucky bounce, you guys, I get the ball back, I pass it to Lana, fake shot, passes it to Arsene Miller, goal striker, he passes it to Duke to make it 6-1, which is the game set match the game ends 6-1 and mommy Duke gets the game ball for scoring a hat trick and i get 500 coins and we get three more points into the bag now as you can see right here i'm trying to get sala because i am trying to get or try to build a calcio a team in the future and they're an overpowered league and kind of underrated sometimes could because of the bpo teams now, since we're getting close to the end of the video, I would like to say thank you for watching. Can you like, share, and subscribe with your friends, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace.